I need to clap, Daryl. Are you ready? Yeah. Stop moving your phone around on the table. You know it makes Brock upset. This is an important part of the story. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Caffeine Not Included. Did we start? Yes, we started. Didn't you hear me do the open? Oh, welcome back. I'm, yeah. I, now I know. This is the show. Okay. We review shows. This is Daryl Mott. I'm Brennan Poole, and today we have a good one for you guys. Uh, it's a documentary, right? Documentary. Let's start here. Documentary? Right there. Is this... Flat, or is it a sphere? Today's show is Behind the Curve. It's a documentary on Netflix about flat earthers. Oh, boy. <laughs> Daryl, your first thoughts. Um, directed by Daniel Clark. I enjoyed myself watching this. I knew about Flat Earthers a little bit before going into it. I know it's a thing, and um, I've watched some YouTube videos, so it wasn't my first introduction, but this was a fun watch. I thought it was great, yeah. I definitely knew about Flat Earthers before. It was like all in the news. There have been like a lot of celebrities and other people who were like, the Earth is flat. So, flat Earth. Yeah, we're, um, we're, with, the, we're so, with the people. <laughs> So, I, I mean, I was aware of it, and I think that's the reason why I wanted to watch the documentary in the first place, was to see what it was about. So, for those of you who don't know, it's a whole community. They all believe that the Earth is flat. Well, there's a bunch of little groups within the community, but it's people that believe that the Earth is flat. And then um, the movie centers around Mark Sargent, who's like the leader of the Flat Earthers. Leader of the movement, in a way? Like, sort he's of. kind of the, the, the guy that, like first came up with real proof, right? Like real or something. You find out in the, in the They like him. They like they this like guy this a lot. Guy, yeah. He's their guy. And then uh, there's a girl named Patricia Steer and she's like the co-host of the Flat Earth. Well, she she hangs her, out with she him. She has her own show and stuff like that as well. And she does a lot of, it's like she's almost a reporter on yep. the Flat Earth community in a way. They have events. There's a big event in Raleigh that takes place in the film where they all meet up and they sell their, it's not globes, but they have It's not globes, maps. it's clocks that are, that are the, the Earth that are flat. flat. That are flat, yeah. They, and, and they believe sure. there's a dome. Uh, there's a dome somewhere, and then in space? also, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They don't really explain a lot. In space. They think there's a dome, and then if you were to sail long enough, you would hit a wall of ice, and basically that's what the whole film's about. It's yeah, pretty much, and their reasoning and their findings on believing why the Earth is is flat. But here's the thing: you never really learn anybody's opinion on any of it. They, they, it's just a lot of people being like, "What it's, do you think? I agree too. Let's yeah, be friends." It's and, a lot of friendships <laughs> being built over flat Earths. Uh, they do do a lot of experiments in the documentary to uh, try to prove that the Earth is flat. Or not flat great with, experiments. Not though. great experiments. There are people in there that explain one way versus the other. What I loved about this documentary is that there were um, actual scientists, actual scientists, and people discussing. Um, the claims and some people are saying this and some people are saying that and you ultimately can decide for yourself Yeah, you know those little laser pointers you use on a cat and you're like go get the, that's like one of the things they use for one of their experiments the Like experiments. no curvature. <laughs> it's all about the curvature of the earth So the whole time you're watching you're thinking can we please just put these people on a boat and let them sail it's to the ice wall around the world so we can all know what's or, happening or out there fly around the world that doesn't happen in the movie so let's get into it. Why you should watch it. Let's make it real simple. I was super entertained. Yeah, I was super entertained as well. I thought it was extremely interesting. I thought um, there there was all these different things going on. And I, I also love that there were the scientists to kind of give you some more facts and um, to really look at some of the experiments that the Flat Earthers were doing and, and say, like, these are some legitimate experiments that they're trying to accomplish. Like, Sort of. Sort of, yes. But I thought all that was cool. And, and psychologists to talk about, like, because, you know, it's real easy to say these people are crazy. But the psychologist actually taught me that, hey, uh, instead of just, like, making fun of these people, we need to, like, meet them halfway and, and try to be like, well, let's talk about it so we can maybe help you understand that this is, you know... More than just a toy in Brennan's house. This is where we live, guys. Yeah. And that you can go to space and see that it's... Yeah, yeah it's real life. <laughs> so there's a lot of that, and it's a feel-good movie. I found myself laughing a lot. Uh, you would think going into it, oh, am I just going to feel bad for these no, people for two hours? No, I, it's it was fun. fun. It was, it was, it's a lot. It's a very fun, fun to watch. I, is there any reason why you wouldn't watch it? Here's why you wouldn't watch it. Um, if you are a flat earther... And you're out there and you're like, oh, this is my people. You're probably not going to like the way your people come off in the film. I would skip it because uh, you might be like. Um, yeah, there are moments where things are really questioned. 
um, yeah. very, very hard. So if you could do be upsetting believe that to a flat earther, flat, yeah, it could be upsetting. Um, but if you are it's about new, ninety minutes. If you're new to either side, though, um, well, that's a good reason why to watch it. Yes, I guess that's the only reason why. If not you're to watch a person it, that goes on and says, "I'm going to bed at midnight," and then four in the morning, you're still on YouTube, like going down rabbit holes. This is your movie. Yeah, you should check it out for sure. But that's another reason not to watch it because it. it <laughs> It's gonna take a lot it's of your life. It's an hour life. and a half. Yeah, it's but you're gonna take gonna, an hour and a half. You're gonna get you're caught gonna, up, man. But you're gonna enjoy that hour and a half. Should we jump into? Nope, that's it. Spoilers. I don't think there are any. No spoilers? Not really. You want to talk about the experiments? All okay. Right. All right. We'll do one spoiler. Let's do one, one spoiler. One spoiler. All right. One spoiler. If you haven't watched, please go Stop subscribe and, subscribe and leave to the channel and like this video and come back for more. Here's a spoiler. Here's a spoiler. The Earth is round, y'all. <laughs> spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, what spoilers? Uh, no, I wanted to talk about the because I didn't want to give away the experiment and talk about it. I wanted them to go and watch it for themselves. But they do these experiments, right, where they have these boards set up mm -hmm. over long distances of time across the Earth and try to shoot a laser on a fixed one. A cat if it was laser, flat, like yeah, a, like, like a, <laughs> that and it they're like, I can't hit see the it. boards all the way across <laughs> in the same spot because it would be flat, which um, it doesn't. And here's what they do: whenever the science doesn't work out, they just go like this. Well, and come up and they with just look more at each other, experiments like, and more reasons why it might not be. They're like, why don't you, why doesn't this work? And then somebody educated will be like, because of math? Well, like the experiment. And then they're like. <laughs> well, the experiment. <laughs> just gotta look the at experiment them. with um, where they had the deal that, that um, detects the movement of the earth, like how the earth spins, which they don't think. None of their experiments work. Yeah, that experiment didn't work. None of the experiments worked. Because the Earth um, is which round. Are, which but you'll um, see in the, in the document. I guess but the other spoiler is there's this nemesis. Uh, there's this guy, Math Powerland or Matt Boylan. Math Powerland is his. Math Powerland is his show name. The he thinks words. he started Flat Earth, not Mark Sargent. So and there's there like is a this battle. drama going on there's that like I do like. There's a battle the whole time, and he's made all kinds of videos, right? I haven't watched any of them, but they show some of them in the documentary of him. Yeah. Like attacking. Yeah. Mark so Matt's like, he's like, I came up with this, and then the other guy's like, no, I started it, and then Christopher. For Columbus is like, I sailed well, around. I yeah. try. <laughs> so the, these two fight, and um, they spread rumors about each other, and that is a fun thing. Oh, and another spoiler. Um, shocker. Spoilers uh, are going wild over here. <laughs> Kathy not included. Mr. Mark Sargent lives at home with his mom. Spoiler That's alert. A spoiler alert. Well, it's a spoiler. Yeah, you would find out if you watched it. All right, you guys, check it out. Make sure you watch the documentary. Tell us what you think. Email us at caffeinetinclusionmedia.com. At, at gmail. We don't read our email. Yeah, we haven't looked at one yet. But maybe, keep emailing us. Maybe one day we'll get to it. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you to like it and subscribe to our channel and come back for more videos. Laters. Bye.